These days, it's becoming more and more common for people to generate their own electricity at home using solar panels. But of course, solar panels aren't the only way of generating renewable energy at home. And because I like doing things a little bit differently, I thought it'd be a good idea to build a wind turbine instead. Now, if you want to generate wind power at home, you don't actually need to build your own wind turbine from scratch. There are plenty of off-the-shelf mini wind turbines out there, and people have been using them for a very long time. However, it turns out that most of these mini wind turbines are actually very, very expensive, which is why I decided to build my own instead. My wind turbine is made mostly from scrap materials that didn't cost anything at all. Now, I did have to buy some new parts, like the, the generator that I'm using and some of the electronics, and I also had to get a car battery, more on that later on. But overall, the cost of my wind turbine is less than that of most off-the-shelf mini wind turbines. Now, the wind turbine itself is made of aluminium, and it's got a radius of 40 centimeters, therefore a diameter of about 80 centimeters, which means that the theoretical power output from this turbine would be about 150 watts. Now, of course, my turbine is never going to generate 150 watts of power. That would be the ideal wind turbine that is perfectly efficient and of course my wind turbine is never going to be like that because my turbine design is based purely on guesswork. Now for the generator I am using a stepper motor which might be a little bit unusual to some of you because there are plenty of other types of electric motors that you might expect make for a better generator. The thing is, lots of electric motors work great as generators, but most of these designs need to spin quite fast to generate a sufficient voltage for a purpose like charging a battery or powering something. And a wind turbine actually doesn't spin that fast, which is why I, op I opted for a stepper motor, because a stepper motor can spin rel or can generate a relatively high voltage when spinning at relatively low speeds. I'm not using exactly this type of motor. It's a slightly different one, but it has the same size. It's NEMA 23. Uh, and the data sheet for the generator that I'm using will be on my website. Now the generator outputs two phase AC electricity, which goes through some wires into the loft of the shed that is nearby. Here it goes into a two phase rectifier which rectifies it into DC power, which is fed directly into a car battery. The nice thing about this is that the DC output from the rectifier is somewhere in between 10 to 20 volts, which happens to be a very nice voltage for charging car batteries. So I don't need any kind of additional charging circuitry in between that. I can just feed the power from the output of the circuit directly into my car battery which is the storage system for my wind turbine. Now from this car battery we then have a cable that runs from this loft down into the shed uh, where I have a 12 volt output that I can then use to power all sorts of things that can run on 12 volts. So I can use it to charge the batteries for my electric scooter for example. Now you might be thinking why don't you add an inverter to it? Uh, so that's, for those of you who don't know, that's a device that converts the 12 volt DC from the battery into 240 volt mains power so that you can use it to, to power all sorts of normal things. Well, the thing is, first of all, an inverter is expensive, okay? And then also, a lot of the things that I do require 12 volt DC or at least low voltage DC power. Okay, so I build some kind of DIY contraption or I have my lithium ion battery charger or something like that and it needs 12 volt DC power. Lots of things that I do need 12 volt DC. And then usually what I needed to do was I needed to go ahead and plug a power supply into the wall, convert wall power into 12 volt DC and then I could power my appliance or my whatever I was trying to power, right? Now I just have a 12 volt output right there. I can plug straight into it. So I have a native 12 volt DC power supply, which is actually 
very convenient to have around. Now, of course, I think I will add an inverter to it as well in the future, just because I think it's cool to be able to power bigger appliances from my wind turbine. But for now, I'm very happy with the 12 volt output. So now, of course, you're wondering, how effective is this? Is this actually useful? Was it worth the effort? Well, first of all, yes, this kind of stuff to me is always worth the effort because I can make interesting videos out of it and I like doing this kind of stuff. So to me, absolutely yes. In a practical sense, I wouldn't recommend a wind turbine for most people. Uh, and it all has to do with consistency. You see, when you have a wind turbine placed somewhere in a very consistent flow of wind, so that is a wind turbine in a large open field or high up on a roof, like very high up on a roof, then a wind turbine is great because it can be consistently generating a reasonable amount of power. So for example, this turbine that I built out is able to output about 10 to 20 watts of power when there is reasonable wind going through it. However, my wind turbine is not placed very high up. It's placed in the backyard in between a bunch of trees and some buildings. And so the wind is constantly changing direction. The wind speed is constantly changing. It's very turbulent. And so the turbine is not spinning all the time. It's not spinning fast all the time. It's spinning up and then it slows down again. Then it stops and then it spins up again for a bit. But then it, the wind turns so it stops again. And so it's very, very inconsistent. So even though it's able to output a, a reasonable amount of power, because the wind is so turbulent and changes all the time, um, the average amount of power that it generates over, let's say, a day or a week is actually relatively low. So this is why, for most people, solar panels just make more sense because it's hard to get that consistency from a turbine. At a large scale, getting a good consistent output from a wind turbine is very easy because you can build a massive tower so it's very high up. You can put it in a very large open field or even in the sea, which is even better, of course. So at a large scale, wind turbines are fantastic, but at small scales in turbulent areas, wind turbines aren't that great. So in conclusion, if you want to generate your own renewable energy and you live in a massive open field or you have a very high building that you could put it on, uh, then a wind turbine could be a pretty good solution for generating power. Otherwise, a solar panel would probably be a more practical solution. But even though solar panels are the more practical and the wiser solution, uh, I would say the wind turbine is more fun, and it was definitely more fun to build than it would be to just install a solar panel on a roof. Anyway, that's my DIY wind turbine. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course, thank you for watching.